Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In this session, we're going to look at Office scripts in Excel. But before we start, let's look at my intro. I have here an Excel spreadsheet opened, and this is just a listing of the sales of Adventure Works by category, and this is for year 2007. So on the first sheet, it is on bikes, the second one is on clothing, the third one is accessories, and the fourth one is components. So what we wanted to do is we're going to format the sheets, but we wanted it to be done in an optimized way by using the office scripts. We're going to record our actions on the formatting and apply it to all of the sheets that we have in this workbook. So to do that, we're going to click on automate, click the record actions and the recording actions pane opens. And you will also notice that it is now starting to record. So for example, I'm going to go into C1 and type some text in there. You will notice under the actions, it has recorded that I have edited C1. If I'm going to highlight A3 and B3 and have that in bold, it is also recorded that I have changed that A3 to B3 as bold. Highlight B and then I'm going to change that to a different formatting of currency and it will see that it has applied all on the B column a styling. I'm going now to highlight the range from A4 to B6 and insert a column chart in there. And I will modify the chart, right click and add some labels in there and also change the title. Now, I wanted my title to capture what is in A1, but right now I need to just type it uh, statically and we're going to change that dynamically when we modify our script. Okay, that has been recorded. I'm now going to stop recording. And the script that is created is named script1. You will also notice that it is stored in my OneDrive Office script. Now I'm going to change this and rename this as uh, sales formatting with chart. Okay, the script is being saved. And if I will now go into my OneDrive, just to double check if it's there. So I'm in my OneDrive, go to Documents, go to Office Scripts, and I should be able to see in there the script that I have created. I'll just need to refresh, and there you go. Now, I'm going back to my Excel, and where can we find this script? I can find it under the automate and you will see it's that sales formatting with chart in there. You open it and we can run this in a different sheet. So if I'm going to choose sheet number two, run it and you will see that the formatting has been added but there are some problems. Number one, it has only selected A4 to B6 which is what we have originally done and that's why it is only using that range to create a chart and number two the name of the chart is still static year 2007 and bikes so what we need to do is we can edit the code by clicking on the edit and you will see in here number one C1 is that test that I have tested of writing a text and then the second one is a3 b3 to make the header bold and then b column to make it in currency format and this one here is the range from a4 to b6 and this is we're going to change this 
So, to change this, all we need to do is create a variable and set that variable to the range that we wanted. So, I'm just going to create some documentation in here and say set range. And I'm going to create a variable, my range, and then we will use the selected sheet, which is the sheet that is active right now, which is this selected sheet. And we're going to call the get range method, passing on the first one, which is A4, and up to what? So we're going to get the surrounding region and get the address of that surrounding region. Now, what we wanted is we can write in the console and check if it has the right uh, ad, uh, range that is taken properly. So we're going to just pass on my range in there and that will be outputted in the console. So let's test that, making sure that we save the script. Run it again and you will now see that it is still the same because we have not changed number one the range to our variable so i'm going to change the range to the variable save that run again the script and you will see that the range is properly taken but we still have a problem with the title okay so we'll need this so i will just create here another variable my title selected range and we'll have that as a1 And we're not setting the value of that. We wanted to get the text of that cell. So that would be get text. Copy the variable and replace the static value of the chart title. Save that. Run the script. And you will see that it is now closing. We're going to go to sheet number three, run again, and we will have the accessories, was able to get the entire range. And for sheet number four, we're going to run that, and straight away it has created it and was able to have the range. Now, what's nice about this is this script, you can share it to others, and they can run it in their uh, worksheet as well. And at the same time, you can also automate a task by running the script to multiple workbook rather than multiple sheets. And I'm going to do another session, a video session for that. So that is just a simple introduction on how to use Office scripts in order for you to do those repetitive tasks easily by creating actions and then run the scripts to those sheets that you have and can run that to other workbook. Now, if you wanted to do it automated, then we can use Power Automate to run your scripts. And I'm going to create another video for that. I hope you've learned something from this session. If you like it, hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe in order to get more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.